What does this all mean now for Giannis? Well, listen, I mean, the choice is going to be his. I think that right now what, what you're saying is is that, you know what, Milwaukee, you can trust them to keep their promise uh, in terms of going above the luxury tax. They'll do anything it takes to make Giannis happy, to keep him in the fold. There's no question. The question is, who's going to want to come to Milwaukee? You're not going to get a, a free agent to come there, a marquee free agent to come there, um, and you're not going to necessarily find that in the draft which means that you're going to have to trade. So you've got the contract of Eric Bledsoe. Clearly, even though he's talented, he's not the guy you want in the postseason. He's just proven too much to be ineffective in the postseason. So you're going to have to do something about that. If you're Giannis, you can't be happy on the fact that they bet on Eric Bledsoe at the expense of Malcolm Brogdon, who you ultimately lost to, Indiana, Indiana, to the Indiana Pacers. You look at Chris Middleton, he can ball, but clearly an ideal situation for him is being a third offensive offensive option. So you've got to have a secondary offensive option. I don't know who that's going to be. We've heard the name Chris Paul. Chris Paul is 35 years old, though. Uh, he's, early, he's approaching the downside of his career. We still consider him an elite talent, make no mistake about it. And I think he'd be a significant upgrade to Eric Bledsoe, which would definitely help them, particularly in the Eastern Conference. But you've got to have a bona fide secondary option, and I, honest to God, don't know who that can be. You can do away with Brooke Lopez. You can do away Away with Eric Bledsoe. You can do away with guys like that simply because the way the NBA game has changed, even though, even with Giannis at the five, you probably wouldn't want him guarding big dudes, but some of these big dudes are stepping away from the basket anyway. So what difference does it make? You need mobile, athletic dudes on your front court, preferably with somebody who can put the ball in the hole so you don't have to allow or rely upon the struggling perimeter shooting of a Giannis Antetokounmpo. You can't do that. So it's a tricky situation for them to be in, make no mistake about it. From a money standpoint, I definitely think they have the money and they're willing to spend the money in order to make him happy. The question is, who the hell can you get to come to Milwaukee? That is the challenge for Horst and Budenholzer and upper management and all of those guys to figure out. Giannis has got to leave Milwaukee. The Bucks ownership blew it when they paid when they played him cheap in the last offseason. The Bucks ownership blew it. And now they're a day late and a dollar short. And I will explain what I mean. First, in order to win a championship, let alone championships in the NBA, if you have a guy like Giannis, who's really a big dressed up as a wing, you need to put him with a dude as good as him who's not a big. It could be a, it could be a, a ball handler or, or a, you know, like a point guard or a wing, but he's got to be just as good as the big dude. Let me tell you what I mean. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar has six chips, one with Oscar Robertson, five with Magic Johnson, and that's it. None with anybody else. You need a guy as good as Kareem Abdul-freaking-Jabbar, if it's a big, to win a single championship. Shaquille O'Neal, three with Kobe Bryant, one with Dwayne Wade, and that's it. Penny Hardaway wasn't good enough. So it can't just be, oh, that's a great play. It has to be a sick, great player. That's who wins championships in the NBA. Two dudes like that, particularly if one of them is a big, right? Because you can see what happens. Giannis plays big, meaning physically big, not like well in the playoffs. That, that's got to happen. So how are you going to get a guy like that to Milwaukee? Stephen A., you're right. No one's ever going to sign there who's like that. In the history of the NBA, no one ever has. Not even one time has a guy signed a major type A free agent, signed a max type contract in a place like Milwaukee. It just has never happened. And Giannis needs someone like Steph Curry or James Harden. You pair that with Giannis, yep, you'll win a championship, probably. It is gangster in the NBA. It is hard to win a championship. And here's where the ownership played him cheap, and I'm not trying to hear their nonsense now. They had Malcolm Brogdon and Miritich on the team. Now, you can't help Miritich wanting to go to Europe. Too bad, because he would have been a nice compliment to, to Giannis, considering Giannis doesn't really shoot, right? But Brogdon, you could have kept. And why is that important? It's important because if you want to get a top-level player now, you need to be able to trade for him, which means you have to have stuff people want, and you have to be able to match up the salaries, right? Otherwise, you just gut your team, and when you trade for the other guy, you have no one left. Malcolm Brogdon was pivotal for them, not to choose between Bledsoe and Brogdon, to keep them both so they could eventually get someone to play with Giannis. They blew it. He's got to leave if he wants to win a championship. 
Well, I think it's, it's, it's positive. I think Milwaukee knows they messed up in losing Brogdon. So they say, hey, we're willing to spend it all to get better. Milwaukee's not the biggest Martin. You both, Barkett, you both said that. I just don't see Giannis leaving. I don't see Giannis leaving. He looks up to Kobe. Kobe stayed in L.A. his entire uh, career, and he found a way. So I, I think he'll do the same. If you look at his Twitter, he was talked about how he unfollowed everybody but his family. And who's the other person he, he's still following? Kobe Bryant. So I think he, I think he, I, I see him figuring it out. And they say, okay, if you're gonna, you're gonna promise me, you're gonna find some talent. Go find me some talent. They're gonna spend the money. They're gonna go spend the money. I think they're gonna throw a lot of money at a lot of uh, at some players out there, even in the trade. They, uh, I, I don't know. They, they're gonna figure it out. I, I, I don't see Giannis leaving right now. I just don't. That's the challenge for me. I'm trying to figure out who the hell is gonna who's who the hell is available to go there. I mean, that's really what this comes down to. And I, and I don't see a free agent choosing to go to Milwaukee. That's where they lose me in that regard, Vince. I don't see that happening. The yeah. only way you can pull it off is via a trade. I'm telling you right now, I definitely think it listen, who wouldn't want to play with Giannis? Despite the fact that they butt heads with one another. You think that James Harden wouldn't love to have Giannis enter to Kumpo? Y'all, you know, Damian. Lillard. Well, there's no question. You think they wouldn't love to have him in Portland? You think they wouldn't love to have him on any team? Any that Miami wouldn't love to have him? Everybody would love to have Giannis. But the bottom line is, what can you get? Who can you get to come to Milwaukee? You're going to have to make a trade. And if you're the Milwaukee Bucks and you're going to trade him, you're going to need at least a perennial all-star in return for his services. I just don't see it out there. Or at least a ton of draft picks and great ones. Like it has to be probably a multiplayer, uh, a multi team trade. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus.